Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Wolf, and this is Skyrim No Fast Travel Challenge. We are back, and we are going to try and continue our mage journey, I suppose, if you want to call it anything. And uh, still looking the same, but that's okay. This stuff is pretty badass gear at the moment, at least for me. Um, last time, we tried to find out if we could, you know, fix... Maybe that main, main quest line for the Stormcloaks. And uh, no, it doesn't do anything. There's nobody here to talk to. There's nobody here to move the quest forward. Actually, the guy that would move the quest forward is here. But it's always telling us to go back to Windhelm and talk to Ulfric. And he doesn't actually say anything to us. So it's very unfortunate that it's broken. But if you remember last time, we stopped here as a you know, midway point, because we did actually extend the last episode, which a lot of you actually watched. Thank you so much for watching that one. I was kind of floored as to how many people actually ended up watching the video. It was like about two and a half hours long, so you guys are troopers, man. You're troopers. But I'm glad you guys watched it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but yes, this is a midway point to our ultimate destination of Riften, because we are working on taking care of business and we're going to collect some debts so let's uh let's go ahead and do that actually first and foremost let me get rid of this marker and let's head out to Riften. all right so we're back on track with skyrim um so recording this on a saturday Update on bowling. I always like to share my bowling exploits with you guys. Well, this week was the final week of the season. Technically, next week is the ultimate final week, but it's high lows plus end of the season party sort of thing. Um, high lows means that you, the highest person is paired up with the lowest person. So it kind of just goes back and forth, you know, and they go from top to bottom. Um, and pair people up. I feel like we, when we did it last season, I was probably somewhere in the middle. I feel like that's probably going to be the same thing again. It's going to be somewhere in the middle. Um, I didn't win anything. I didn't win any money, but, uh, you know, still had fun. Um, I can't even remember who I was paired up with last season, but this season I hope it's, I really hope it's somebody decent. But we'll we'll see. I can't choose. I, I don't know who I'd be paired up with, to be honest. I'd have to go through the stats myself. And I'm just not willing to do that right now. It's not my job. My job is to go there and bowl. But that'll be up to the league secretary to uh, really take care of. But now aren't you dead? Remember the last time we got this? Last time we got this staff, we got it back. If you guys remember, we died the last time. <laughs> we died the last time, or excuse me, I died. You guys are fine, obviously. You guys didn't feel a thing. I felt all of it. <laughs> um, I died. Didn't think I was ever going to get that staff back ever again. And as it turns out, I did. I'm really happy about so very very happy that I got that staff back and we persevered we got through it together so yeah next week we're going to be doing a an end of the season party along with uh, doing the high lows and I said that I'm going to be bringing cake donuts homemade I got my cookbook actually has a recipe for essentially vanilla cake donuts, but I'm going to be adding a couple of my own things. I'm going to be adding some cinnamon sugar to the flour. I'll mix that in. So there'll be cinnamon sugar vanilla cake donuts. 
and then I'm going to glaze them in chocolate glaze twice. So I'm going to glaze them, let them cool on a rack in the fridge until they solidify, and then glaze them again. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. I'm I'm excited. I love donuts. I don't eat sweets that often anymore, but uh boy, I love my baked goods, man. Cake, donuts, pies, cheesecake. That's my Achilles heel right there. Cheesecake. Love cheesecake. Um You can't beat a good cheesecake, man. I'm telling you. Are you guys fighting? Oh, you're fighting again with this crap? Fine. I'm going to go first person this time so I can see where I'm throwing. Or, you know what? Nah. They got it. They're they're chasing him off. And it's kind of annoying. If I hit them, they'll attack me. And I'm just not going to have it. I'm not going to have this. We're going to we're gonna mind our own business. Let the vampire hunters do their vampire hunting thing. So I'm very excited to... This week is going to be a test run, so I'm going to make some later today. Riften is this way. I'm going to make a do a trial run today, and I'm I'm not going to be frying the donuts. Actually, I'm going to be baking them. I got a baking tray that's specifically uh, molded for donuts, and I'm going to be doing that. And hopefully, it comes out good. I have my fingers crossed. I really hope it comes out good. But that's why we're doing a trial run this week. I'll, I, I, of course, am my own guinea pig. I know that they'll taste good. It's dependent on kind of figuring out the temperature to bake them at as opposed to frying them at. I think it, in the cookbook it says fry them in an oil that's... Oh, boy. 300 I lost my train of thought for a second. Thanks, Bear. 375 degrees, I believe. Uh, in oil. In oil is... Wow, how did that miss? What's your hitbox? Come back! Aranea, where are you? I'm being eaten to death by this bear. Too bad you're fleeing for your life. Where'd the other bear go? And where is my helper? What are you? Big mistake, my friend. Um. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try and start there with the temperature, even in the oven. Oil is definitely, I mean, it can get hotter, I think, than the oven could, but uh, so RNA is just gone. Did she go and fight the vampire? Are you kidding me? All right, whatever. She'll she'll be back. She'll catch up or she'll spawn to me or whatever. Um, but I think that's a good starting point. Even though it says it's for frying, I think 375 degrees should be fine for baked goods. I think that'll be fine. But hey, that's why we're doing a trial run. How long it'll take, I'm not entirely sure. Frying takes a lot less time than, than baking. So we'll probably try and do, I don't know, 375 for 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, give or take. And hopefully they'll come out nice and... I don't want crispy. I just want basically like a cake because they're cake donuts. And then one of these days, I'm definitely going to try and make my own fillable donuts. I'm going to make my own Boston cream, you know what I mean? I'm not going to make the custard, though. I figured I'll just get, I don't know, vanilla pudding packs. <laughs> or maybe, a like, if I can find somewhat of, somewhat of a bigger tub of vanilla pudding and then just use that to fill them up. I love Boston cream. Either that or jelly. I made jelly donuts. You notice how when, when you go to get jelly donuts, they're almost never anything but, like, raspberry or strawberry. But nobody ever does, like, grape jelly. Maybe peach. Peach or apricot or whatever. See, there she is. I told you. Like, any kind of other jelly. You know? Nobody ever tries to do any other jellies except raspberry and strawberry. Which are great. I love them. But, like, let's get creative here. There's tons of different jellies out there. Let's let's use a bunch of different ones. 
What's the one that my parents like? Um, well, I think my mostly my dad. Uh, 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 I I just it starts with an M. Not meringue, obviously that's not a jelly, but I'm talking something you put on toast. Um, light armor increase. Ah. Oh. What? I thought she hit me. Whatever. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I, I I don't know, but anyway, you know, like try different jellies and, and fill them up, and or you you'll get like um like a lemon filling of some sort, not a meringue, but like a, just a lemon filling, lemon flavored. And I say it's high time we go crazy with them and try different things like grape and apricot and peach and all this other stuff. I also looked up a recipe, and I, I know this is going to sound really dumb, okay? You guys are going to think I'm stupid, because I am. But I looked up how to make, like, a, a maple frosting, because I'm, I've got, like, t a huge bag of pancake mix, and I got it from my parents. They weren't ever going to use it. <clears throat> so I got a huge bag, and I'm like, what else can I do with this other than just make pancakes? And I'm going to try and make some pancake muffins, Okay. Because I got, I got two muffin trays. Going to make some pancake muffins. That should be easy. Just make the pancake, dump it in the tray, and just let it bake. Um, and I actually, I'm sure people have already done this, but pancake cake. Like, I have, I think I have like nine inch cake pans. I'll make a double layer pancake cake. Oh my god, what is with the bears, bro? Stay away. I genuinely have no idea if, like, I hold it longer and it's a more powerful hit from my staff or if it's just you just can rapid fire it like that. Um, and it'll hit the same. But what I wanted to do differently with this cake is I wanted to make a maple frosting. And my favorite type of frosting is buttercream. Okay. Buttercream frosting is the only good frosting, and I dare you to tell me otherwise, okay? There is no better frosting than buttercream. So, or like a cream cheese-based frosting, too. There's that, too. But I'm looking up this these, these recipes, and I see maple glaze and stuff like that. But then I see a maple frosting, and I'm like, hmm, it's not, it's more like a, it looks more like a vanilla frosting, because it's not really brown like you would expect maybe a maple frosting to look like but that's not the point it tastes like maple and that's what matters i watching this video i'm thinking buttercream it has butter in it but it's made of like other things like mostly um sugar maybe heavy cream or something like that no it's a whole stick of butter that you beat the crap out of <laughs> that's it it's a whole stick of butter a bunch of confectioner sugar Maple extract, maple syrup, and some and a little bit of heavy cream. Not a lot, but it's just that. And I'm like, I, am I an idiot? Like, it's literally in the name. It's buttercream frosting. Why wouldn't it just be butter? <laughs> I just didn't know you could make frosting out of butter. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a whole stick of butter. I'm an idiot, dude. I just, like you know, but obviously you add the heavy cream in, and then that gives it the cream the whip like it's a frosting but it's thick and I want to I want to make it and put that on the cake and just like oh man it's gonna be so good I just I just know it now whether or not whether or not it will rise like a cake well that remains to be seen because you know, pancakes are not the same. It's not the same type of material or flour or whatever, or mixture, if you will. It's not cake mix. So whether or not it'll rise like a cake, I don't know. But it'll be interesting to find out. It might be a very thin cake. <laughs> it might just make two very large pancakes. So then I'd have to make maybe a total of four. 
But I'm going to make sure I make enough uh, mix and pour into, you know, I, I don't want to I, maybe pour it halfway up each pan. I imagine that would be enough to make a big enough cake. But it's going to be a dual layer cake with maple frosting, and I am so excited to make it. Damn. Spider and wolves working together? What has this world come to? Yeah, I, you know, I, I love cooking. I do. Because cooking, you can really kind of just mess around with and make up stuff. You know, make, and that's something I had to learn when I was living with my two older brothers earlier on in my adult life. Um, when I had no job and I was living off of really subpar unemployment. Ah, what the hell? I didn't do anything to you. All right, fine. You were going to come at me and then the wolf took your attention, huh? And now you're going to burn. I love this staff. <laughs> I love this staff, dude. It's so good. Oh, man. I'm glad I found it. It's so freaking good. Um, so, yeah, I love cooking. It's Cooking's a lot of fun because you can mess around. Baking? Uh, I mean, I guess if I really wanted to experiment, I could, but... That is something that you need to follow the recipe for. Like, read the, in, the the ingredients, the times that you need to cook things at. Now, with, with the donuts, because I'm not frying them, I have to play around. I have to kind of, you know, get an idea, guesstimate. Um, and they're not big donut uh, molds either. They're really, they're smaller donuts. So I'll be able to test one batch at a certain temperature and then if it's not right then I'll test it at another temperature and time and all so on and so forth so oh insufficient hold on hold on bear hold on give me a second un segundo por favor that was terrible I'm sorry to my Spanish friends uh, no um I used to be better at Spanish I mean I took it through middle school and high school but I don't remember a damn thing Oh, oh, all right, hold on. Nope, that's left. This is right. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so you can't just keep pushing it, but you have to hold it enough to start it. And then that's it. Which is fine. Um, can you imagine if I had two staves? <laughs> One that throws fireballs and the other that maybe throws flames or something? I'd save so much ma magic. It'd be freaking ridiculous. I wouldn't spend any magic. I'd spend a lot of uh, soul stones, but, you know, I mean, if I need to fill more, I, I've got my hammer. Um, you know, this, this music, this piece of music right here genuinely reminds me of World of Warcraft. I'm not going to lie. It really gives me a feeling of World of Warcraft. Uh, you know what? She'll take care of you. Get away from me. Don't touch me. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, I can try a batch of donuts at a temperature at a time. And then, if that doesn't work, then try a different temperature, a different time, so on and so forth. And j until I get it right. But in terms of the mixture, you got to follow the recipe, man. Unless you are just really good at knowing exactly how much you need of each thing. Like, when it comes to, say, baking soda and baking powder, I have no clue how much of each of those I would need to make bread, so to speak. You know, maybe if I didn't want to use yeast, I wouldn't even know how to make bread with baking powder and baking soda because I don't know how much of it to use. And how do you know which one to use? As opposed to, you know, like, how do I know if I need baking soda for this and baking powder for that? Do I need them at the same time? You know, I it's, it's, it's very... Baking is such a... Unless you're making one thing all the time, like bread, and you just know it like the back of your hand, you don't need to look at any recipes or anything like that. You can just make it up 
because you've done it so many times. That's that's a different story, but I don't know anything about that. So, oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love how that guy's fighting for them, even though they're the one they're taking him in. Dude, why would you help them? They 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 are arresting you. <laughs> you gotta hope to that they maybe die <laughs> so you can escape. Um. But yeah, baking it's people think it's hard. It's not hard because all you gotta do is, like I said, follow the recipe. It's instructions. If you can't follow instructions, then well, yeah, then you can't bake. But the book is telling you how to do it. It's really simple. <laughs> And for some reason, every time I stream myself baking on stream, I get nervous. Or cooking, for that matter. You know, because I'm a good cook. I can cook just fine. But for some reason, when I... Okay. When I stream myself cooking, I get nervous. Make it quick. Excuse me? Who the hell do you think you are? You know who I am? Yeah. Hello? They say that eating the fruit it bears will add years to your life. Sure. Believe what you want. Anyway. Um, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm good at cooking, so I don't know why I feel so nervous. Now, baking, the, the few times that I've been on stream baking, now, that has been a bit nerve-wracking as well. Probably more so than cooking, because, like I said, cooking I can do. Baking is something I'm doing more frequently, but it, I, 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 dude, I didn't bake when I was at home. Mom did. You know, we'd help her if she asked for help, but it wasn't like she basically did all the baking and all the cooking, but cooking is something easy. Um, so, needless to say, even though I'm following instructions, I find myself being nervous streaming myself baking even though i follow the instructions i don't i don't know it's it's weird that's the only way i can explain it even though i shouldn't be i'm just following the book so essentially you would think hey it'll come out fine but you know you never know not every oven is created equal i might turn it to 375 but it may not be 375 you know it's it's possible that it could end up like that at home, my parents had an oven that did that, where the temperature was not accurate. So they had to have a, a thermometer in the oven to tell them what the actual temperature was, so they knew that it was at the right temperature. And that's that's another thing, too, is that I'm used to using the oven without preheating, because I think it's preheating is a stupid thing. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but with baking, it's kind of important that you preheat so that it's more accurate in terms of the timing. So, here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. I have a message for you from Brynjolf. I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. It was never a request. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. I'm finished wasting my time talking to you. Good, and take this little message back to your bosses. They're not going to like it. I'm not paying any of you a single septum, ever. Now get out of my inn. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, actually, I guess I have to. I said get out. I'm not paying a single coin. I guess they kind of wanted me to actually beat her up. <laughs> Hence the, you know, the persuasion. But, I mean, I don't want to cause any trouble in terms of... I figured I could talk my way into it, but... Hello. So, can I interest you in anything today? Uh, I have a message from Brynjolf. What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? 
Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. This is for the Thieves Guild, isn't it? I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I think you know what it is. You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? Ridiculous. We can protect ourselves, trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. They're not going to like the fact that I'm not brawling these people. I think this is for the Thieves Guild, isn't it? I honestly don't remember. If it's a bet you need, talk to Kirava. Hey, you mix potions, right? Can you brew me an ale? It's not how it works, buddy. If you're looking for a room. Try what did you want? Whoa, whoa! I don't even remember you, Helga. I have a message for from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Then you never really tried. This isn't about the money anymore. I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We've run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Well... <sighs> Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world, anyway. That means I'm gonna have to actually get... Uh... I'm gonna actually have to get physical. That sucks. I didn't want to do that. Um... Can I un... There we go. Sorry, you're my first beat up. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't. Okay. Didn't want that. Well, it's a good thing that uh, we started from here. <laughs> City's quiet enough now, but when the sun goes down, all right, get out. Keep on your guard. If what did you want? What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from it. Ha! We'll see about that. Get him! Get him! Okay, so if they're actually brawling, if they're fighting back, then it doesn't count as a illegal activity, I guess. Eh, not really. I think she might be prettier than you over there. You gonna pay up or what? Here, take your damn coin and get out of here. Thank you. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Yeah, no, she's prettier. Helga's prettier. I guess we're gonna have to... Well, here's the problem. Now these two guys are kind of glitched because I can't just start fighting them. So... Mm. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf he'll just have to leave. So then how do I go about getting that back. <sighs> Has given me a new assignment. Three business owners in Riften are proving to be a thorn in his side, and I suppose I should speak for any of the townspeople. Okay, well, let's go find Brynjolf again. Let's get to the, uh, let's go talk to him and see if maybe either he can reset these people or he will find another way to get their coin or something. I don't know. The 
The Ragged Flagon. Oh, big freaking news. They're updating... They're updating Fallout 4 for the current gen consoles. Now, as far as that game goes for Xbox, I, it doesn't need one. Because you can already play Fallout 4 at 60 FPS on Xbox. Um, but on PS5, of course, you cannot. And while the PS5 definitely handles the game a lot better than the PS4 does, uh, they're unlocking 60 FPS for it, which is awesome. I'm, I'm actually, I think it's hilarious that at this point, when I started Skyrim No Fast Travel Challenge, that was 2016. If I had just been consistent with it and gone through the whole thing from the very beginning, I would have been done with this game and Fallout 4 by now. But I haven't even, like I started Fallout 4 years ago, but I've, you know, kind of gone back and forth with it and I never really finished it. Stay out of trouble. Um, have anything for us yet? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key. Um, but I'm kind of glad I waited because now it's going to be at 60 FPS on console. To bits and he'll change his attitude. Aha! There we go. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Bar. See if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Interesting. She's as stubborn as she is beautiful, isn't she? Glad you found a way to get her to pay. I had to beat it out of her, unfortunately, but... I'll beat you when you're done. <clears throat> so I probably could have just did that instead of having to beat them down, but... Whatever. Either way, we got our money. Yeah, I didn't want to join the Thieves Guild, but I figured if I'm going to get these quests out of my log, then, well, might as well do them. That's the wrong way. So anyway, yeah, Fallout 4 getting updated for PS5. Very exciting, very happy. I'm like, it took them a long time to do that for some reason. And I think they're the reason here is just the push for the Fallout TV series. That's doing really well. So I fig I guess they figured, you know, since we're doing that, we might as well update Fallout 4. Because strangely enough, Fallout 76 runs at 60 FPS, which I didn't realize ever that it did. I And it's the PS4 version. There was no update for PS5 unless it was just updated. And then, you know, depending on the system, it'll play out at either 30 or 60. But what do you want? How did you meet Kir Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Oh, isn't that nice? In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I can find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer... I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I think I actually have three of those things. You might want to talk some sense into Kurava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Oh. Looks like she won't be able to trust you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to Kirava, I have some information. I'm not paying you or Brynjolf a single coin. Now get out of my tavern. Are you ready to pay Brynjolf for what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Marwen. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Now was it that hard, seriously? Oh, 
Oh no, you're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Now he's scared of me? I have a message from Brynjolf. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf okay, that's don't weird. worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. Good lad. Weird. I didn't even say anything. I didn't even have to smash anything up. He didn't even know why I came back. I, just, I don't know about that, but whatever. Whatever works. Again, I'm just trying to clear the log a little bit. No doubt this will probably give me another quest, but... I mean, we're, we, we don't have... I mean, okay. I'm not saying we don't have an, a lot left to do. There's tons to do in this game, but tons of things that I want to do? Eh, not really. Not really. Like, I never wanted to join the Thieves Guild or the Dark Brotherhood or anything like that, but... I wanted to finish the Stormcloak quest line, and it didn't do anything. And I couldn't find a fix that actually worked, so... Could always go back and see if anything's changed. Maybe he triggered something, oh, or I triggered done. something. You even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Not really, I beat up Helga. Keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Sure, why not? What's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True. We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Oh my god, Arnea, please get out of the way. Screwing up his pathing. After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I don't care. Oof, man, it's dark. So this place seems cozy. Cistern. I think I could literally kill everybody in this room. <laughs> Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. Better not be another waste of the guild's resources, y'all. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. Sure, why not? I think you need to watch your tone. Rules? We're thieves. What's the point of rules? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. I now might just do that. All of this? Yes, I understand. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. 
You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. I'm the Dragonborn. Possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Okay. Welcome Weird that you welcome me to the Thieves Guild Spending without testing me first. A lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Okay. Oh, and talk to Tanelia and the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. It's a good thing I use uh, fire magic. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. What's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not, the le Why not level the entire estate? Give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. I could take him. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import her. money for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth. We'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So, how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Nah. Mercenaries don't take prisoners. Whoa! Oh, I'm taking that for sure. No, I'm carrying too much. No way. Damn it. Yo, we got a new bow. Whether or not I'll use it, I don't know, but maybe when I come back and do this, sure, I'll use it. Um, oh, right, I had the golden stuff. Dude, look at that. Creatures and people up to level 13 flee from combat for 30 seconds. I don't know if it'll be, if it's better than my other bow, but I know I like it. I've got way too much. We're up over nine pounds. I should say we're up, we're over by nine pounds. Obviously, that doesn't weigh anything. Mm, 
there there are these ingots and the ore and stuff like that, which I haven't done anything with and probably don't plan to do anything with at the moment, but it'd be a shame to uh, get rid of it. Oh, you made it. Good to see you, my friend. I don't even know who you are. I'll never forget how you saved my life from those Thalmor maniacs. Excuse me? I did? When? I'm just taking stuff from everybody else's freaking footlocker. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well, we are going to have to get rid of a lot of things, at least. And whether or not these will persist through, I don't know. But I have to drop... I have to drop the, uh, the ingots. Just enough to get down to weight. There we go. I actually want to take... That's the iron one. I'll take the gold back, but other ingots, like Heartstone. I don't know what the hell I'm going to use that for. I'd like to keep the ore, though. The ore will actually help me. I have two unusual gems. Oh, I think I have one more back at, uh, at the house. Linen wrap. That's three pounds? I don't even... I, that was one that I accidentally picked up. Any more ingots? Okay, that's not the way to go. Well, it's a way to go, but I didn't open it, so... Do we go back this way? I got turned around. That's a freaking awesome bow I found, though. We're going to have to make a trip back to the house before we do any of... Well, I, I'm not going to do any of this now. We'll save this for later. All this, all these uh, things, this one, and we don't have to do that now. Um, return to Colbjorn Barrow. Oh, right, that's that thing. Well, we can do that. Where is world map? There we go. That's shimmering for some reason. Over here, oh my god, we'd have to go all the way back across the map in the most literal sense. No. At least not right now. Oh? Hey, alright, that's actually right here. Right in town, or right outside of town. But yeah, at some point, maybe I'll, uh, I'll come back and do the Thieves' Guild. I'm not done being a mage, though. So, it's gonna be a while. Let's do... There you go. Wrong way again. I hate maze-like structures. They're just, they're just annoying. I always get lost. Okay. Just gotta go. This. Oh, let's uh, do a quick save. There we go. Can't forget that. What's this nonsense I've been Beautiful hearing? Bobble, That's a cool. I mean, I've got that statue. God like White Mane is in a better place now. Or is there any place better than Sovereign Guard? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I see. You hired someone to catch a juvenile mud crab, but they never returned. It would seem so. 
seems like I just left a conversation in the middle of it or something. I wouldn't mind taking over the bounty. Thanks. Good luck out there. That's it. Interesting. Uh, well. What? Why is that all the way over here? Are there no mud crabs around this area? No, come on, no way. Look, we're surrounded by water. You mean to tell me there's not a single mud crab around here? Juvenile or otherwise. Oh, right, I can walk on water. For I am the Lord. No, I'm just kidding. All right, well, I guess, <laughs> guess we're not doing that either, not yet, because I do want to go back to the home and, and put some stuff away. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just head out. We have to, we have to put a bunch of that, the gold stuff that we picked up. See if we can put it on um, display or something. Because I want to have an impressive looking home. Yep. It's the right road. I want to thank anybody who actually checked out the new podcast. It was a test run, but people seem to like it. Um, and some of you might look at that and be like, well, you only got like 23 views. I'm like, that's not the point. The point is, is that I actually like, there's engagement on it. It has five likes, so a fourth of the people actually liked it. Um... So I consider that good engagement. And my brother had one of his viewers actually watch it and say that they were very much interested in the idea. So uh, it could be a thing. I'm going to be having a, uh, a, a meeting with him later today to discuss what it is that he'd like to have in the podcast in terms of what we talk about um, should it just be about games or can it also be about anything else really random life stuff or does you know does he want it to be a focus thing do we bring on guests at some point um, but this will be my third attempt at a podcast uh, I my very first one I did by myself many years ago probably, yeah, well over 10 years ago when I was still living with my two older brothers, I started my own podcast um, and it was by myself. And that didn't, you know, that, that I ended that, you know, after a handful of episodes just because, well, you know, while I can do this for hours on end, streaming, recording, whatever. I've gotten used to it. Back then, I wasn't really used to it because I I didn't know how to fill the void. You know, and obviously, while I'm playing a game, it's a little bit easier to make it into somewhat of a video journal, if you will, or a vlog, I suppose. Because stuff can happen in the game, my attention can go to that, and then when the stuff is done, or the action is done in the game, then I can come back to talking about stuff like this because I will have thought about it or, you know, I can fill the gaps here and there. But podcast by yourself is a bit difficult because if there's any kind of like silence, you know, obviously people can look at that and be like, okay, well, he's thinking about what he's going to say next. But at the same time, you do kind of want to try and keep people engaged with anything. And that's kind of hard to do by yourself. It's a lot easier when there's somebody there to bounce off of. You know what I mean? So, um, And also, you know, we already talked about whether or not we want it to be pre-recorded or streamed. And I personally want it to be recorded just because it allows me to um, 
kind of edit things together in a way that is cohesive, but also um, we're not, there's no pressure to not, not perform. I, I can't remember what I said to him, but it, it's just, I would prefer it to be recorded. Oh, so, so that way it's not, there's no pressure to, oh, we have to do it every Sunday or something like that. You know what I mean? Like it's not, we don't have a set day and there's no pressure on him or me. Not that I have any pressure, but with him, he's got a family. So there's no pressure for him to be dedicated to this one day. It has to be when we record, so on and so forth. Um, it might not even be a regularly scheduled thing. It'll, it'll probably be just something that may happen every once in a while. Uh, when there's things to talk about in this day and age, there's plenty to talk about in the gaming industry, to say the least. Um, so, yeah, it, it really would just be recording allows us to bring it out when we can, unless he does want it to be scheduled appropriately, which is fine by me. I would just work things around and then, you know, like say today, for example, we would record on, record on a Saturday and then I could release it on a Monday or something like that, you know, it's basically, it'd be a lot easier to do it that way. And then of course we got to talk about length. Do we want it to be like an hour? An hour is very consumable for a lot of people. And I think it's a nice middle ground. Two hours, kind of like one of these things, it seems to be, you know, longer content on YouTube does well, as opposed to short form content, uh, if it, unless it's a YouTube short. There's either one minute of content. Oh, we can see this guy from a mile away. All right, I'm gonna eat this one across. Hey. Funny, you're a thief and I just came from the thieves guild and I don't remember seeing you there. You're a thief, you got nothing on me in terms of damage. Get blasted. Little fire and ice. Um. So, you know, I'm trying to think my previous my previous podcasts were usually about an hour and I think it's a nice amount of time. Hell, that's enough time to even fit just one topic, you know, um, instead of trying to rapid fire multiple topics, multiple news topics or whatever the case may be, technology topics. Um, we would only really have to pick one thing to talk about and it'd be pretty easy to fill that one hour up with just one thing. But that's something we're going to talk about whether or not it, we're going to have an hour long podcast, maybe two hours. You know, a lot of people like the longer ones because they listen to them when they're working out or doing chores around the house or whatever the case may be. Uh, and I've been told, whoa. That mammoth is, uh, he's not where he's supposed to be or where he should be. He's climbing the mountain with his giant. Another floating sword. Awesome. So, those will be things we discuss in the call. Because he's quite busy these days. You know, he's got... Uh, like I said, he's got a day job, his family, but he also has his own YouTube stuff that he does in, in Twitch streaming. He has all that, and I don't want to just shove something in his schedule and just make it work, uh, but he seems driven to do it like I am. I've always had problems working with other people just because, not in a, on a personal level, but again, it's, it's because everybody else that I've thought wanted to do this with me um, basically proved to me that they couldn't. I couldn't work with them because they weren't as dedicated or passionate about it as I am. Like, I want to talk about this stuff. And in our texts back and forth, he said that exact thing to me. He says, I need, I want somebody to talk about, uh, talk to about these things because they're important to me. And I'm like, 
good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, I if I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. He of all people, ever since he started his whole YouTube Twitch thing, uh, this is all he ever wants to talk about is is games and technology and all this other stuff. You know, he he likes it as much as I do. So I'm not entirely. I was gonna say, put the freaking knife away. It's like she's trying to stab me. Um, I'm not good at working with other people who are not on the same page, you know? Like, Dimitri, I thought that's what he was, like, he wanted to do. He seemed enthusiastic about it at the beginning, but he just felt as though he wasn't, well, he certainly wasn't willing to do it every week, which is unfortunate because it's not that hard. You just hop on a call and then we're good to go. We just talk. But he also felt as though he he himself was not as informed as he probably should have been to put on a podcast to talk about stuff. And I'm like, that's okay. I just present you with a topic. I tell you what it is, and then you tell me what you think. It really didn't have to be, oh, you have to have all the knowledge in the world to do this. Why is my family all running around the town here? What are you doing out of the house? I got two rubies. Nice. Who'd you steal them from? Um, so it really is... It really was difficult just because I could never find that, that one person who wanted to actually do the podcast with me in a, in a more consistent way. And... Uh, well, that's just the long and short of it. Couldn't find anybody to work with. Well, now I've got my brother. And he knows a lot about all this stuff as much as I do. Which is good. I need that. I need somebody to bounce conversation off of. Because otherwise it's just me talking to the void. <laughs> Alright, we finally made it home. Do we have a mannequin to spare? Yep. We do. I'm going to take this. Okay. And then I'm going to... This right there. Uh, give. That one. That one. That one. That one. So good. And I'm going to have to put that away. Don't suppose I can put that on. I probably can't. And then in this display case. Oh, I have to have a weapon equipped. Oh, that's right. This bugged out and wouldn't let me take them back. And I don't know why. Oops, let's do a quick save real quick. And then we'll do. I'll equip the this. And that'll go there. So now we, if we activate it, we can't. We'd have to use a different weapon to get it back. But I don't really plan on using that. So it's fine that it stays there. Now I've got all those weapon cases filled up, which is good. Um, I don't think I have any other weapons that I want to put out there. So, oh, there's the go. Oh, uh. And then you can take the golden mace, right? I hope you can. Oh, you can only place armor on the mannequin? Oh, that's dumb, dude. All right, fine. Well, I'm not going to be using the golden mace anyway. So let's equip that. There we go. And it's upside down. Why? Why are you upside down? It does suck that you put a weapon rack there and... You can't actually take it back out, but whatever. It's not weapons I'm going to be using, so. The golden bow. The golden daggers. Oops. I keep pushing that. I don't know why. Nice. 
It's too bad I don't have like a golden sword or something to just be all golden weapons right there. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm definitely not putting that in there. Holy crap, that, that, that bow is so badass looking. Ah, uh, where's my other bow? Store that. Yep, yep. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of steel arrows at least. This is good. Okay, so I've got two of these things. And they're kind of just stuck in my inventory now. I don't know what quest these belong to, though. Uh, golden ring, gold emerald. Right. Shield of Ysgrimor. Okay. Good. We're down to 228. Can I put these away? Nope. They are still quest items, but we don't have quests anymore for that. So I don't know. That's a quest item as well. I forgot. Ah, right. Get rid of these. Which we don't have. I mean, we don't have an Aura of Madness, I don't think. Uh, That's a quest item. What quest? See, this is why I can't just skip over quests. I just have to do them when I get them. Oh, Flawless Amethysts. Oh, well, never mind. Then that's easy. Ruby, Sapphire, Garnets. I don't know why I thought it had to be the unusual gems, which I thought about. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. We got a lot of filled gems or, yeah, soul gems. Get rid of that, that. Ah, since we're not really collecting... Any souls? I'm going to put the empty ones away. Okay. Rubies. That's a quest. That's a... Okay. Somehow I missed that. Completely restored Magicka. Any other empty gems? Well, there's that. So, we've got a lot of ingredients, a lot of potions. There's a lot of potions that we may not even use. So, what do you say we go ahead and go to the local store and see if they'll buy any? If they're open, I hope they're not closed already. I don't know what you're talking about. What what happened that you have to get on with your lives for? The white file. Holler. Hello. Yes, I am. All right, draft of regeneration, destruction spells. Going to need that. Extra magic at you haggle for 25% better prices for 30 seconds. Uh, no, it's going to give that to him. Health increase pickpocketing. Don't need it. Resist frost. Blocking absorbs. One handed weapons. Don't need it. Target is 18% weaker. Okay, there's, yeah. I don't really know how to use those. Magicka. Restore. 
Restore. Target is 12% weaker to magic for 30 seconds. So for only 30 seconds of that 300 seconds, you're only you're weaker, but then it wears off. Mm, not bad. Not a bad trade-off, I suppose. Two-handed weapons. Eventually I'll use that. <laughs> Increased light armor skill. I am wearing light armor at the moment. Okay, so that's good. I'd better get going. His mouth was open the whole time. That's funny. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I'll never have. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients. There's cure poison. Resist magic. I need some health potions, really. Hmm. Enhanced stamina. Cure disease. Okay, so actually I'll take these. All three of them. Thank you. Uh, Magicka for sure. Extreme. Magicka. Stamina. We don't really need stamina too much. Plentiful healing. There's resist fire and cold. But resist magic is better. Because it resists all magic. And he doesn't have it. You... You imbecile. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, he's got w one resist magic, but I'll take it either way. And I'll take that. I'll take these. Don't mind if I do. Uh, does he have anything I could use to make my own stuff? Damage health. Fortify, fortify, conjuration, resist fire, resist magic. There we go. Little Nern root. Little Hag Raven. Restore magicka, red fla mountain flower. You know, dude, you could say that to my face if you got the balls. Okay, he's upstairs. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I have a decent mind for potions, but I've also learned how to. I understand what. Take a look. So the difficult part is remembering what I need. Actually, I'm an idiot. It literally shows me what they do. Okay. I'm an idiot. Elves' ear restores magicka, which, yes. Restores Magicka. Yep, there you go. Damage Magicka. Resist Magic. Regenerate Magicka. These are cheap, so... It's fine. Resist Magic. Resist Magic. Restore Magicka. Right. There's Regenerate Magicka. Resist Frost. Fire. Shot. We need Regenerate Magicka. Invisibility and Restore Magicka here. Let's see what we can make. If we can make enough of it. Okay, so there's Ravage. No, I don't want that. There's Regenerate. Let's do... Hmm, that's tough. Got plenty of Red Mountain Flowers, so that's good. Weakness to magic, resist fire, regenerate magicka. Then 
we've got resist. I guess we could just do resist fire. Why not? Helps with our leveling anyway. Ooh, that's what I should do, actually. Pour some points into uh, my alchemy. So I was trying to figure out what I was saving my points for. Maybe that was it. I mean, really isn't much we can do with destruction because we've got the apprentice destruction, even though we don't use an apprentice spell. But we obviously don't have all of the spells either. Got alchemy here. There you go, see? So next rank, potions and poisons make you make our 40% stronger. Okay, there's benefactor. Po potions you mix with beneficial effects have an additional 25% greater magnitude. Uh, eating an ingredient reveals first two effects. There's, that's all about poison, it looks like. 50% uh, resistance to all poisons. Two ingredients are gathered from plants. All negative effects are removed from creative potions, and all positive effects are removed from creative potions. I don't understand. See, this is what I don't understand about that. <laughs> all negative effects are removed? Great. But then you remove all positive effects, so it's just a drink. <laughs> then what, what are you supposed to do with that? I don't get it. All right, let's... Oops. Let's, uh, let's do that, actually. Yeah, let's pour some points into that. We still are one point short there. That's okay, because we do this. Yeah, let's get our alchemy going, yeah? All right, let's go put a whole bunch of this stuff away. Uh, the ingredients, that is. They still weigh something, even if it's a little bit. We need the space. I'm going to go talk to Ulfric one more time. <laughs> Ooh, I just looked out the window. It looks like we got some dark clouds coming this way. <laughs> and I was so looking forward to more freaking rain. Awesome. It's been raining for like the last four or five days. I don't remember. Uh, ingredients. Stole all of it. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. I just unlocked that thing, so I could have actually eaten a whole bunch of it. All right, let's take a look at the bows. Oh, my God. I I forgot I had this. Frost resistance by 50% and frost spell damage by 25%. Conjuration, illusion, and alteration spells. That train is uh, really annoying. Um... What I should put this on display. What the hell? All right, let's uh, let's take that. I got some plaques I can put some weapons on. Stormfang. Is that a two-hander? Nope, it's not. That's a single-handed sword. It's not one I'm going to use anyway. Ooh, ancient Nord great sword of ice. I would love to put the Shield of Yskermore somewhere, but I think the other two... There's the Daedric Bow of Despair. The Ebony Bow. Oh my god, it's actually... It's three points better. Yo, let's go. I don't know if I want that enchantment on there, though. Target takes 30 points of frost damage to health and stamina. See, that's a pretty good... Uh, it's a pretty good enchantment. This thing just does three more points of damage. But I do have an extra ebony bow to enhance if I ever wanted to. Well, that's actually what I was looking for. So there you go. Ebony dagger. Maybe I should just actually put named stuff. Like weapons and stuff on the walls. Obviously, with those golden weapons, I can't do anything now. They're, they're, they're stuck there. So, um, but... The Shield of Yskermore. That, uh, that one elven weapon. Definitely a named object. 
Why don't I have these in my inventory? Regenerate. Oh, right. Because I only took a certain amount. I forgot about that. But I mean, like, if we ever get into a scrap, I've got the regenerate magic right there. I forgot about that. Uh, K, 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 K. See, you know, see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the weapons and... There's a Staff of Magnus. Absorb 20 Magicka per second. If the target is out of Magicka, absorb health instead. So I could essentially with this keep my Magicka going indefinitely. And if they're out of Magicka, it just takes their health. Staff of the Flame Atronach. See, I don't know if I want to put the staves on display because I might actually want to use those eventually. We'll see. But as far as weapons go, let's do a quick save. Let's see. The Elven Greatsword of the, of the Blaze, that's a named weapon for sure. Stormfang is also a named weapon. But all the other ones... What do I want this to be? See, he's got a shield. Oh, he doesn't, though. Oh, wait. Th isn't there that... I thought there was a fly buzzing by my head. No, it was just one of my daughters singing downstairs. All right. I guess we'll just do this, then. We'll... When a weapon plaque is activated, it will place your current equipped weapon on the plaque. Well, that is the point. Uh, duh. Stormfang. Yeah. So those are there for the rest of their lives. I just need two more golden weapons. There's got to be like a, a great sword or hammer and a single sword. That'd be great. And then we finish up the golden collection right there. So we're at 195 out of 370. Not bad. At least I'd say so. Just a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of gems. A lot of gems. That's good. It's all right. Now, let me take a look. Emptying the miscellaneous quest. Now that's going to be difficult. Oh, flawless amethyst. Let's see if we can just get that. We're we're right next to Riften. We might just go back and give it to him. <laughs> Show his future wife no hard feelings. <laughs> Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm just looking for F. See, this this is regular amethyst. This isn't flawless, so. Oh, it's an all all in alphabetical order. There we go. There we go. Wow, I've got thirty of them. I can spare three. There you go. Done. <laughs> uh, not those. Where is it? There. Nice and easy. Might as well, right? I mean, we're not doing anything else. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was I'm sorry to hear that. But I don't care. <laughs> I'm a heartless bastard. What time is it? 7.20 p.m. Okay. You know, I always said... I, I genuinely think... I mean... The world of Final Fantasy XIV would be a great world to live in. But if I was to choose a place... To live in... Where none of the downsides of living 
back in medieval times like this would ever like you know there's no negatives to it it's just all the positive stuff about the medieval times i'd say skyrim would be the video game world i'd love to live in which is strange because it's not really too dissimilar to a real world setting potentially so it seems a bit silly for me to say something like that but i don't know there's just something about this place like i said 14 final fantasy 14 eorzea That'd be a hell of a place to live in that'd be great But I guess it's kind of up in the air between that and uh, Skyrim. Would I rather live in Eorzea or Skyrim? I don't know. Skyrim just seems quiet. What the hell was that? Is that a tankard? What? The, where did that come from? Why is it on the road? Freaking litter bugs. And I'm talking, in terms of the downsides, I'm not talking about the dragons or the monsters. Or I'm talking about, like, famine, disease, all that crap. None of that stuff. If I was to, you know, say, hey, only the positives come from an area, what place would I want to live in? And for me, it's just a matter of the quiet that winter brings. You know, uh, and I've said, I, I don't know if I've said that before in one of these videos or if I said it on a stream, but the downsides to winter for a lot of people is just the sh in modern times anyways, the sheer fact of driving in it, shoveling it, whatever, out of their driveways. But let's say that wasn't a factor. I don't mind driving in it. You know, I m mind that other people drive in it because other people suck at driving, but Aside from that fact, winter brings a level of peace that no other season can match. Not a single one. Because when it's, when it's snowing outside, and let's say for the sake of saying the majority of people aren't driving, they're not out and about or whatever, when it's snowing because they don't want to get caught in the, the, the uh, storm or whatever the case may be. It's got to be the most peaceful time of the season, of the year, really. When it's snowing, fresh snow on the ground. And I'm talking like heavy snow, blizzard, sort of. Not high winds, just a lot of snow. I've never heard silence the way that winter brings it. You know? And that's kind of how I feel in this game. Like, if I was to just sit stand still, okay... Let's say there's no music or anything like that. Just listen to the wind. Just dead silent. And it sounds amazing. Just the howling of the wind. I'm on my way to solitude to join the Legion. You know, I could kill him and nobody would know. I'm a storm cloak. You're going to join the Empire. One less person for the Empire is better for everybody. Let's do a quick save. I'm not kidding. I'm going to kill him. We don't need more Empire scum. Oh. I didn't... Uh, there we go. You're not going anywhere. Nobody's joining the Empire now. They don't need new recruits, and I'll make sure of that. <laughs> and no bounty. What do you know? Because it happened in the middle of nowhere. They'll just see his dead body, and they'll be like, huh. Must have overdosed. <laughs> I don't know, man. Does overdosing cause burn marks? Anyway, yeah, so Skyrim, I'd love to live here. Be a great, a great thing. But I guess in a more fantasy setting, like real, like this isn't like 
it's not like this isn't real fantasy. This is definitely fantasy when magic is involved, but when it comes to like a real fantasy setting, I guess Final Fantasy 14 would have to be it. Eorzea is just like full of different types of monsters and you got your mages, your warriors, your you know, the whole thing. It'd be fantastic. It'd be awesome. I would definitely be a warrior with heavy armor and a warhammer. You're a walking tank. Like, why wouldn't you do that, right? Now, obviously, it'd be cool to cast magic. I think anybody in their right mind would want to do that. But I don't think there's anything like swinging a giant hammer. And, of course... Uh, Warhammers aren't actually that big. They never were. They're actually small things. They can usually be one-handed. And if they were two-handed, the hammer wasn't really that much bigger. It was more of a focused type of weapon where it would focus all its energy on one point to... If, like, say, your enemy's wearing a helmet, to crush the helmet into the skull... <laughs> So it was really just a matter of denting armor and really making it unusable. Because a sword couldn't do that. The sword would bounce right off. But that's why the Warhammer existed. But it was a very specialized piece of equipment. Whereas in video games like this, the Warhammer is just a regular weapon. You just use it how you would use any other weapon. And it's not like you couldn't do that with... A real life Warhammer, but it just wouldn't be as effective as like stabbing somebody. You would you would literally just beat them to death, but that takes a lot longer than just driving a sword through their gut. Also, if you hear any, I don't think you could, but if you hear any howling going on in the background, that's I've got the windows open in the living room, and the wind is. Quite strong today. Not like absurdly so, but it's it's stronger than yesterday. It's blowing. And it looks like those dark clouds that I saw weren't actually rain clouds, though. The day is still young. So it would seem our travels are just between this and Windhelm. But there's so much to do. We have a lot to do in this game, and a bunch of it I don't remember how to do or where to go to do it. Like a lot of the miscellaneous quests, they don't have descriptions. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, and I'm going to have to look it up. Which kind of breaks the immersion a little bit of being in the game and just using the game to do everything. Look at the quest, find out where you need to go, blah, blah, blah. I could take on that whole fort. I really should, just so I can stop having to force myself to go around. I just kill everybody in there, and then I can go through it. But, if I know this game, eventually time will pass, and they'll re-outfit it with more guys, and I'll just have to do it all over again. It'd be good for experience. Increase my destruction spells and whatnot, but... I really don't want to waste my time. They're there. They're always going to be there. That fort will never be fully clear. Oh well. It is the Empire, after all, and I am a Stormcloak, so... I bet you if I was an, an Imperial, they would let me go through no problem. It just sucks because they'll allow me to go into Riften, which is Imperial owned, but they won't let me go into a fort. I understand that Riften is a town, but still, you'd think that they'd be against a Stormcloak going into a town that is owned by the Imperials. 
Who knows? These guys are weird. Their policies are weird. I'm going to have to look up to see if it's even possible to... to remove weapons from the weapon rack. I don't think it is, but we'll, I'll, I'll look that up. To the and bar, I found those amethysts I for you. I, I, I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Even though I shook your girlfriend down? I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we... Oh, thank you. Potion of vigorous healing. Well, at least it's a healing potion. Okay, you're just welcome. Get out of here. Excuse me? I just gave you. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. I won't be able to pickpocket. If I don't take anything, he won't say anything, but. Silver amethyst ring. All right, so looks like he already made the ring, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. He can suck a butt. Anyway. Learn about the... Learn more about the... Uh, find Jofton's notes on smithing golden and dark equipment. Yes. No. That's what you call me? All right, cool. I'm the champion of Azura. Where is this? So, so far away. Well, that's what this game is about, isn't it? It's about traveling. Uh, convince Jeldis Sadri to admit Bralsa Drell to the inn. Uh, is that here? No, and it's not showing me either. That's not showing me either. Yeah, this one's broken too. Kill the leader of Winter War? Not there. Ask Aldis for information about Angeline's daughter. That is all the way up north in solitude. I hate going up there. Assist the people of Yalmarch. Bring one song. Discover Sviti's whereabouts. Now, discovering Sviti's whereabouts, that, again, that's another one. A lot of the ones that don't have markers, those are the ones that I'm going to have to look up because I should have just did them when I got them. Locate the hidden stash of Ember Brand wine in Raven Rock. Uh, okay, we're not there. Investigate the Bard's College. That's, again, all the way up in Solitude. So many things in Solitude. Ah, locate the face sculptor in Riften. Oh, wait, this is one I... Who, excuse me, what are you doing to her? The city really gets to her? You leave her alone. The old told me that it isn't this bad You're a stranger here too, Maybe huh? One day I'll venture out and see if she's right. You're not from Riften. I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Well, you must have a lot of fun. Why are you here, then? Many years ago, I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dremor ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. When and the dickhead on the motorcycles. Gotta that. love that. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. I'm gonna be... Man, I'm going to, I have to make a decision as to whether or not I want to go through this entire recording and cut out all the nonsense noises.
Might not take very long. I'd have to... I really should keep a mark as to when idiots like that come cruising down the street in their freaking motorcycles. What happened to your blade, Grim Seaver? It was lost years ago. Or Grim Sever. I don't know. Without it, I feel almost as defenseless as a newborn. I don't think I'll ever be able to find a replacement. Ooh, what if I find it? I could find it for you. I couldn't ask you to undertake such a treacherous journey. It would be a fool, sir. I am the Dragonborn, and I am a fool. Spark in your eye, and I know better than to warn you away. Good. Grim Sever rests within the Dwemer ruin of Misinchalef. Tread carefully, friend. Misinchalef. Those same ruins almost took my life. They won't take mine, I promise. What happened to you in Miss Misinchalef? I was adventuring in the depths of the ruins when I was attacked by a massive construct, like nothing I had ever seen. When the Colossus struck, Grim Sever was knocked from my grasp, and I was wounded badly. It was only through blind luck that I was able to crawl away from the Dwemer abomination and make my way to the surface. I must have collapsed, because the next thing I remember is Erin standing over me, tending to my wounds. Ah, uh, this little douche. Well, once I get, once I get her weapon back, Those she's gonna fall in love with me, you little pansy. Now, where is this? Have I been to this cave before? Uh, again, north. But yes, I have. Strange that I never actually came across the weapon, though. Interesting. Okay. I am... Misincha left bound. We may not even make it there in the time we have left, but that's okay. That's all right. At least we will enjoy the journey together. I mean, we're just doing random stuff now. Unfortunately, quest lines are just like Thieves Guild, um, Dark Brotherhood. Uh, I, I guess I'm done with the Mages Guild, or yeah, College of Winterhold, sorry. Um, just because I'm the Archmage, so there's nothing more for me there, I suppose. Except for that Jizago. Jizargo? Uh, where is it? Oh, sorry. It's actually... Oh, here we go. Jizargo. Yeah, there you go. So, there's that. That's still the College of Winterhold. So, you know, I could do that, I suppose. But he's a little douche. Uh, why are there two markers? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. One cotton picking minute. What are you, a courier? What are you doing? Why are you running at me? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No. Slow down. Explain yourself. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. We'll see about that. I guess I'll just wait here. No, I won't. I'm going to go back this way. I don't know where he's supposedly trying to get to, but... Um, what was that? It was a glass weapon, I think. And where are the guards that are supposed to be chasing you? I was thinking about just dropping the weapon on the floor. Has he been trying to chase me down this whole time? Are you kidding me, dude? I bet you the guards are like back here.
Yep. No? No, that's not that guy. Is that fur coming out of your ears? No. I'm an elf. I don't think elves have fur coming out of their ears. What is this guy doing? I guess we'll just follow him until he gets to his little hiding spot. Then maybe once he hides, the guards that are chasing him will come around. We'll see, but... I could just kill him. Either guards that are chasing him or, you know, henchmen. I think it was like a glass sword, wasn't it? Yeah, glass sword of garnering. Where is this guy going? How far did he run? I mean, I feel like I should just kill him right here. Nobody's going to miss him. He's a fugitive. Who cares? Right? Can I put it back in his pocket? That'd be awesome. Here. Hold on. There you go. I didn't pickpocket. I gave it back to him. You know you're dead, right? That's what you get for trying to freaking frame me. You little douchebag. What else do you have? Give me that and that. He doesn't even have the sword anymore. Oh. I do. Yeah. I'll just drop it because I don't care. Dude wasted my time. But now all of a sudden it's showing me where this face sculptor in Riften is. Whereas before it wasn't showing me. Oh, see? Now it disappeared. What? It was... Oh, no, it's still there. Well, now it's back, but I, I bet you if I get close enough, it's going to disappear again. Yep, there it goes. And it's not on the map, is it? Yeah, so he's like back here somewhere, I think. Well, screw it. I guess this will be the last thing we do. Just try and find the face sculptor. The game decided to show us, in a way, I suppose, where he or she could be. I might have to wait till morning, though. Is possible. So they were back in the back end here. Local map. Ragged Flagon. Temple of Mara. I mean, I'm not entirely sure where he would be, but it showed there. What? What's going on? Oh, what the hell? Die, damn you. Don't shoot me, please. Where'd he go? It was a thief guy. I knew it. It's one of it's one of the guys from the Thieves Guild, wasn't it? No, don't get involved. Arnea, are you sure? You know what? Do it. Do whatever you want. Yeah, screw it. I'm not the one who's gonna kill him. Face Sculptor, Face Sculptor in Riften. Um, ah, there, okay. There's the uh, there's the exit that I was looking for. There we go. Now I can go in that way. Face Sculptor. Oh, maybe I can't. What? Huh. That sucks. Look at this. Who would want this? Why would they allow us to do that? Alright, good. You left him alone. Did you kill him? You know he's part of the guild, right? 
Blackbriar Manor. They're still chasing me. Oh my god. That boy's gonna die. Hmm. Okay, we're way away, far away from it. It's the Temple of Mara, I think. Essentially, that's where it was showing anyway. Alright, what uh we're at 230. Let's do another six hours here. The wind picked up quite a bit. Did they get him? Oh my god, they're still shooting at him. Six hours later. Blackbriar Manor. Okay, not there. We're looking to be over here. At least that's where it showed, was around the Temple of Mara, I think. This? Hall of the Dead. Would a face sculptor be in the Hall of the Dead? Requires a key. Arne, you're not bored, are you? Actually, are you the face sculptor? Nope. Is this the face sculptor? What would have been? Or what was? <sighs> well... This is where it showed. Not, not the Hall of the Dead particularly, but on this side of the map. That's where it showed. Like it was over here somewhere. Can't be in Blackbriar. Mistvale Keep. Uh, okay, let's... Hold on. Let's leave Riften like we did before and kind of see where it might be. Kind of get an idea as to where it could be and then we'll go there. I feel like I'm wasting your guys' time with this one. But it's it's been in the it's been in the bin for a while here, so let's try and see if we can get rid of it. Question is, how far do we have to go before it pops up? Huh. Now it's not popping up, and I'm far enough away. Come on, dude. All right. Well, I guess I'll just look that one up, but we are definitely not going to get to our location in time. We're just going to go as far as we can, and then that'll be that. I think I might have actually screwed this game up a little bit when I installed those mods. There, there might have been a mod some... See? There it is. There it is. What did I say? What did I tell you? I mean, it looks like the face sculptor is in the Thieves' Guild. That's where it's looking anyway. Uh, Is there no way I can actually look at the local map for Riften? I don't want to push A on it because... Local map. Nope. I was hoping maybe I could, you know. Wait, what the hell is this? Greenwall Cave. Well, actually, I have to confirm, right? I have to confirm? Yeah. No. I just thought I could actually look at the... Hmm. This is tough. Because it looks like it's at the back here. Either 
above the Thieves Guild or in the Thieves Guild? Well, I'll look it up. Screw it. Whatever. After there's the recording, I'll look it up. Because how is it going to show a marker without actually, like, when I'm away from the city, but then I get in the city and the marker's just gone? That's one thing I, I, I've said before about not just these games, but games in general. If you're going to have markers in your game, like a Ubisoft game, you cannot have some quests where markers just don't exist. It throws off the entire point of the game. If you're going to go for markers, then make sure every quest has a marker. But if you're going to do your game like, say, a From Software game, a Dark Souls game, Elden Ring, whatever. I'm not saying Elden Ring doesn't have markers, but I don't think it has quest objective markers. I don't think it has that kind of thing. So it's like, if you're going to do no markers, then do no markers. But if your game is going to be chock full of them mostly showing you the, where the majority of the quests are and what to do, then stick to it. Enough of this nonsense of like, oh, well, you know, some quests will show you and some won't. You just have to figure it out. It's like, well, with, you know, the miscellaneous quests, they don't have a description. So word of advice to anybody who plays this game, when you get a miscellaneous quest that isn't a main quest, do it immediately because then you'll never remember and then you have to go to the internet. And it's kind of like immersion breaking if you have to use the internet to find what you're looking for. I, it just doesn't seem right to me. I really shouldn't have to do that. I should be able to stay in the game, use the game's systems to find out what I need to do. But in this case, I now have to go to the internet to figure out where the face sculptor is. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's a windy day today for sure. There are some dark clouds, but who knows if it's gonna rain? All Bing is saying is fifty nine degrees and windy. Cool. I've been thinking about transitioning over to Linux for my gaming machine. I want to do it, but I wanted to do it when I built my new gaming rig. But that's not gonna be anytime soon. I'm so heavy into console gaming, it's not even funny. This is the only game I play on PC these days. The tough part is that there's a lot of games that I do own that don't natively work on Linux. Like, oh, I don't know, most Blizzard games. But one of these days during the, uh, the main live stream... The Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursday streams, I should say. Um, I'd want to play through StarCraft. And while you can get Blizzard games working on Linux, it, you kind of have to jump through hoops to do it. And I don't really want to. But if it's not that difficult, I might. We'll see. But yeah, that'll that'll be a little ways down down the road. I'm actually enjoying revisiting some of the older games like Resistance. I think I'm actually gonna do Killzone next. Though I am debating on whether or not I should get myself a real copy of Killzone one or play the HD remaster, which I have on the PS3 as well. Cause I do have Killzone 2 and 3 in physical copy. But I have the Killzone HD remaster in digital form. I'll probably just do that, to be honest. Instead of just pulling out the PS2 version. Which I don't think I have. I'm fairly certain I don't have it. Well, you know what I think we'll do? We'll go back to uh, Windhelm. We'll sit... Well... There is no fireplace to sit at, but we'll sit somewhere. I thought that was something I could actually collect. We'll sit somewhere and we'll we'll end the video there. A lot of traveling in this in this episode. Not I mean some combat, but not a lot. 
which is unfortunate, but... I mean, these quests are just all spread out. See, this is... I knew I should have did that. I, I mean, the, the, the point was to finish the main storyline, which we totally did. But if I got a miscellaneous side quest, I should have just did it. Instead of just focusing on the main story and then just completely forgetting about the side quests. Because now I don't remember where to go or what to do with any of them. Some of them obviously pointed out, but... You know, then you got stuff like the... Uh, face sculptor where it shows you for a second but once you're near the city it's like nope forget it now you gotta find him that's why I'm just I don't like the fact that some games will just do oh here's some qu here's quest markers for the majority of the game but this side quest no 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 you have to actually work on finding this person like why you gave me everything else. Why are you making me think about how to do this one? You know, I've been I've been just in just about every single building in Riften. I don't remember seeing anybody that even remotely looked like they sculpted faces. And yet here we are. Now I have to actually talk to people. Which fine if that is what you want you know I, I i grew up on games where you had to actually in rpgs that you had to talk to people in but that was the majority of the game is <laughs> to find out the information you needed you had to talk to people these days we've got you know quest markers i don't know maybe i'm just being too stingy too picky not stingy picky but I think it's wrong. Whoa. Salt? No, bone meal. Random bone meal. Who's leaving garbage on the floor? Dude, free ingredients? Don't mind if I do. Let's do a quick save. For dinner tonight, I'm actually thinking I'm going to be making some... Cutting up some chicken thigh. And, uh... Throwing it in with some pasta and some mashed potatoes. Oh boy. I do have to work out though. I just remembered. <laughs> I skipped Wednesday because I uh, went to. Okay. Uh, I went to. Uh, have a light dinner with Meech. And I got home just in time to shower and get ready for the stream, so I wasn't able to work out. Now I'm going to need to close the doors, be or the windows, because uh, it's getting cold in my apartment now. Whereas before it was quite warm, now it's actually getting cold. I mean, there's no glory if you're not going to Valhalla. But I am, so... I've been a bit out of sorts since... I mean, Asgard. Wherever we're gonna go. I don't know. Valhalla, Asgard, who cares? Let's go ahead and take a seat somewhere here. Yeah, it sucks there's no central fireplace in this house. There is in Whiterun, but we don't talk about Whiterun. All right, who dropped the apple on the floor? Let's go ahead and just take a seat here. It's a nice place to sit. Arnea, you know. You are, you've got to be one of the most annoying. I forgot how to get out of this. Um. I thought it was jump. Oh, crap. I thought I had to jump out of it. Oh, no, going to first person. There we go. Right, 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 right. Third person is weirdly bugged. There we go. That's better. 
Well, today was certainly interesting. I uh, I think I might have botched the adventure a little bit. <laughs> Going back and forth and back and forth. Good Lord. We've got a lot of quests and they're very spread out. But we still have many episodes to go. So hopefully we can kind of clear out most of them. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time and attention as always. And please join me again in the next one where we will continue our mindless adventure. I will look up where to see where the face sculptor is in Riften so we can just be done with that one and uh, move on with our lives because <laughs> that one's really annoying. <laughs> but until next time, I'm Adam Wolf. This is Skyrim and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>